Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we're here at HSWI today, and we've taken the opportunity to gather some of the most brilliant minds in hospitality, technology, and of course, sustainability, um, to help hoteliers really follow a path um, and, and identify how they can grow their business uh, in a more sustainable manner. So we're here joined today by Patrick Apostolo, representing the Hotelier Voice. Um, he's the head of uh, business performance at Redison and business transformation. Um, and one of the most uh, efficient and profitable hospitality companies, uh, uh, managing eight different brands and more than 1,200 properties and 100,000 members, part of the team. Welcome, Patrick. How are you? Thank you. Very good. Nice to be here with all of you. Excellent. Um, and we also joined by um, uh, by Glenn Mandiak, who's the CEO well of yes. uh, Sustainable Hospitality Alliance, uh, a nonprofit organization which represents the collective power um, of the industry to deliver and address uh, the key global challenges affecting our planet and our people. So the um, the alliance helps uh, the industry develop practical resources and programs, right, and yep. to enable the wider industry to operate again more sustainably um, and grow their sustainability. Thank you, Glenn, for joining us. How are you today? Outstanding. Welcome. Thank you very much. And finally, um, since connecting data has never been more important um, to achieve a sustainable business model, uh, both financially as well as from an environmental and people perspective, we're also joined by Yong Nop Nguyen, uh, the CEO of D2O, to shed some light on how we can achieve this um, you know, when all of our resources are fully connected and seamlessly aligned uh, to support the daily needs of the hotel activity. Um, and of course, the waste a lot, a lot more, um, rather avoid to waste any resources at all, right? Uh, right. Thank you for uh, joining us, Young. How are you today? Thank you, I'm great, and thank you for having me. So looking forward to your question. Absolutely, all right. So um, let's start a little bit by setting the scene for, uh, you know, our hoteliers and what uh, we're faced with today, right? I mean, on the one hand, we have incredible surges in costs. When we talk about distribution, we talk about energy, but of course, uh, operational costs, which um, hotels struggle with more and more. And it really impacts their ability to convert more of their revenue into profit. And, and on the other side, um, in spite of a lot of the certifications and ratings that they're working with, striving to get to be compliant with, um, I think it's um, uh, they're only driving minimal effort in, in, in being able to uh, drive that urgency on and the progress on sustainability. Um, so, Patrick, you you know you're presenting hoteliers. Tell us a little bit more about the foundation work that Redstone Hotel Group has been doing uh, to really, you know, enable a more sustainable uh, future for the business and um, particularly how you've been able to connect revenue with operations and uh, the allocation of the resources to increase the profit margin and drive a lot more sustainability for the group. Well, I would say that uh, in, in the name of our CEO, Federico Gonzalez, he has been one of the first uh, promoters uh, together with our leadership uh, in sustainability in the creation of the Sustainability Alliance. So we have always been extremely focused uh, in, uh, in that domain and in that sense. Uh, we always see the opportunity uh, in some way not only to um, optimize, but really to reduce the waste in all sense. And that's where I think great partnerships are actually bringing together the capability of prediction, of visibility on what will be the future, and for us then to steer where the business wants to go. And as a result, of course, there is a profit, but there is also an impact on sustainability. We know that our hotels are probably one of the worst contributors from a CO2 uh, impact, but still we are the ones moving as fast as we can to, together with the asset owners and the asset managers to turn around the overall situation. So I think we have a lot of work to do, but with a consistent plan, I'm sure that we will get to the right result, both from a sustainability point of view and from a profit point of view. Thank you very much, Patrick. Uh, so I guess, Young, talking of costs, one of the uh, biggest costs hotels are faced with is labor costs, right? Um, Patrick's intervention early in the program talked about how they represent more than 50% of a hotel's p and um, And in the UK, uh, according to the latest hot stats data, we've seen a surge of 65%. 2023 compared to 2019 year-to-date data. How can hotels connect revenue with resource 
uh, planning to increase that productivity and improve the bottom line for hotels? Great question. Thank you. Uh, that's why we are here uh, with uh, HSMI. Great venue, and uh, we have seen a lot. Uh, well, it's time to connect the productivity with the revenue because productivity depends on two things. One, the revenue and the resources you put in. And so it's natural to put it in, but we have to look at beyond labor productivity. We have to look at the resources, energy consumption, water consumption, chemical waste, towel and linen. These things need to align with the forecast, with the daily forecast, with the daily activity. Uh, and that's driven by the revenue manager. And so therefore today, having one, uh, we have been working, we have been through a mason journey, and now into the future mm. with Glenn and his organization. And we are uh, now partner, and we can say that we are about to save the world or the planet. That's a massive plan, a really, really important plan for the industry. So, Glenn, I mean, we've seen how important connecting revenue uh, with productivity is to help hotels drive the bottom line, but also the correlation to the other resources um, and that we need to control, such as energy and water and chemicals, towel linen, waste that we actually generate. Um, so in order to be able to control that and not overuse it and, and really identify how we can find that delicate balance with, with, the, um, with the future of our planet. Tell us a little bit about the work you are doing um, and why is it so critical to act upon this now? Yeah. And why and how are you going to achieve that through the partnership with D2O? Wow. You know, we're at a critical juncture in the hospitality industry. We're truly at a crossroads. We have to expand what we believe success looks like because, you know, we have a powerful opportunity to be a steward of the planet. We could be seen as a sector that is a steward of the planet. And we're, there's no other sector really that could say that because we have, are in every community around the world. And it, that will enable us to attract the labor force of the future, to attract new investment through, through shareholder investment, through regulators, That'll be a lot easier on the industry because they'll see we're taking a, a bold leadership approach, but that we're reinvesting in the communities for which we have the privilege to operate within. This announcement today and this partnership, I mean, we're very proud. Radisson, as you just, has been a founding partner of the Alliance since day one. Uh, and we've been around for 30 years. So it's, it's a long journey that we've been on at looking at people, planet, place, and prosperity, and net positive hospitality, giving back more than we take. This partnership though, today with D2O, is a really game-changing conversation. We have been talking amongst ourselves for too long in terms of sustainability with other sustainability officers, for example, or, uh, and, and, and that then, if we don't include the revenue management conversation, if we don't really start to talk about, because we are an industry that is designed to make money, we're not philanthropic. But at the same time, we can be the stewards. We could change the way we're perceived out there. And so we have to make that connection much stronger. And the partnership with DTO will help us do that because of the technology that they've developed and have really perfected over a long period of time has will provide that great foundation of conversation and DTO has actually stepped up big time here they're not just trying to be formalized as a member of the alliance but is making a significant investment into the alliance on its work on training and sustainability through business simulators and other things that we're going to be doing well into the future so it's a real exciting opportunity. It's an exciting time. We're very proud of this gentleman and the entire team at D2O have been very passionate. I will say I come into meetings and it's supposed to be 30 minutes long and it takes up to be two and a half hours. I don't have that happen too often. So there's a real cerebral conversation that happens here because we are trying to change the world here for the better. And tourism can be a force for good when managed appropriately. That's an important element to the statement because people say, well, tourism could be a force for good, but, and they leave it at that and it fails because it's not being managed appropriately. And tools are necessary to educate 
and help guide that journey on managing appropriately. And what you've just seen today and Radisson's leadership and utilizing the tool and the D2O by, you know, really coming up with a vision to create something meaningful right. is going to be something that, that we're pretty excited about. So we'll be integrating this conversation much deeper. And visualize, visualize the progress. Exactly. And visualize yeah. the progress. Yeah. And uh, because we have to make, we have to feel good before we take the big step in change. So yes. we have to feel good and make us feel good. And I, and I love the fact that you don't use jargon in the conversation within the platform because it can become too academic and, and then you'll lose people. And so this makes it a very approachable. So we're very excited about what, what, what the potential is here.